First thing out of the box I noticed it is clearly 3D printed. It does have the all the latching points to adapt the batteries and it's got a spring-loaded release for the Black & Decker engagement into a Black & Decker tool and it looks pretty solid. It's actually more durable looking than what I thought. This edge right here I'm not super thrilled about. This little part right here was kind of broken in the uh, when I open the envelope, but not consequential at all. It'll still do its job, and it seems pretty durable. Locks right in. I didn't have to file it or sand it or modify it at all, and it does actually work with the DeWalt power. And fits fitment and finish is pretty good. It didn't give me any trouble at all. So you'll notice right away, these aluminum conductors that are cast into, the, well not cast, it's 3D printed, but embedded into this adapter are straight pass-through conductors. So for all intents and purposes, why does that matter? It's transferring the 20 volt lithium ion straight into the 18 volt Black & Decker drill. Well, one of the main safety purposes served by the additional wiring and electronics in the, the safety circuit inside this adapter is to prevent someone from charging a lithium-ion battery with a charger intended for a NICAD battery, which that would have potentially catastrophic results, but I find it to be kind of redundant considering they have a keyway on this that will not allow it to go into this type of charger anyway. And most people who own these batteries already are going to use the correct lithium ion charger with the charging monitor. So in the case of our adapter review, we're going from 20 volt DeWalt to 18 volt Black & Decker so you could theoretically put a lithium ion battery on this assembly i don't know why anyone would do this and then try to charge said lithium ion battery with the black and decker 18 volt dc charger intended for a nickel cadmium type battery which would also have catastrophic results this adapter would prevent that from happening. It would open the circuit and prevent the charger from making contact with this lithium ion battery. This has no such safety features and you could theoretically do that, but who's going to do that? That's very low risk, but it's something to be aware of. Nobody's going to charge this battery through this adapter with this, or at least don't do that and you'll be fine. So as far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter that this is a pass-through other than the safety issue that I just described regarding the charging of the lithium-ion battery, or the risk of charging it with a NICAD type charger of either type. One advantage to this over the one I made, the one I made has these little tabs which I haven't removed or modified or cut off which prevents this adapter from being used 
on anything over a four amp hour size battery. It, they hit right here and they prevent from engaging. That was a six, this is a four, four actually fits. So I'm, no one, at least I haven't gotten a straight answer from DeWalt as to why they did that, why they don't want people using large amp hour batteries on through their adapter onto older 18 volt tools. This, however, has no such feature, excuse me, this way. So any DeWalt lithium-ion battery, 20 volt, will slide right on, be it 6 amp hour or 2 amp hour. So that's kind of a beneficial feature of this. Just, again, be careful and watch what you're doing because this is not a listed, tested, it has no UL markings. You know, uh, the guy just made it. There's nothing wrong with that. Just keep that in mind when you're using it. Um, but as far as the risk goes with using something like this, sure, it could damage the battery if this is discharged too much. These have a fuel gauge on them. So I would say if you were using this and you're keeping an eye on this, as soon as it gets down to one bar, one light on the fuel gauge, take it off. If it starts to get hot, you can feel it physically and know that it's overheating. So I'm probably going to mark a couple of my batteries and try them with this under some heavy use conditions and just see what happens.